well, about an hour and a half later, this is the uh, end result. <sighs> Those, uh, these things here, I don't know, they were impossible to get out, so those ones came out much easier. I'll be cutting those off uh, before I put them in the 65. Uh, this is what I'm talking about here for the ABS. The 95 Explorer end or 96 didn't have this, and uh, I couldn't, I couldn't swap it out, so I decided to change the whole thing. Uh, kind of a bummer. This uh, rear end has, well, it's upside down, but it says 2L3, I'm assuming it's 7, so it's a two, 237 gear, but it's limited slip. I think all GTs were limited slip, but I don't know, how to, it's, it's not gonna, won't have very much oomph from takeoff, but we'll see. We'll go from there. Um, if I need to change them out with the 373s from the Explorer, I will. Um, now that I have the axle out, I plan on using the exhaust tips also, so now might be a good time to take all that out. So, that's the next job. So anyways, oh, another interesting thing was uh, the brake line that connects onto the uh, the axle. It was a banjo bolt, a uh, half inch. I was shocked. They actually came out without stripping or without breaking, without anything. I cut the line thinking, I'm, well, I'm going to use that whole assembly there, so I, I needed to cut the line anyway. But that I'll be using that in the 65 also. And here's the exhaust. I think it's a Magnaflow something. I think it's a Magnaflow. There. This car is completely rotted out though. For a 94. Look at that. That is gone. I mean, by looking up on the outside, the car looks mint, but under here. Disaster. Anywho, that's it. Next will be exhaust pipes coming out. At least the tailpipes, anyway. Alright, later.